Hi, welcome to A Watchman's Journal. I'm Diana Larkin. I'm so glad that you have joined me today as we go over a powerful set of words from the Father last week that I heard in my prophetic journal. Um, these are uh, words of great change coming, but the end result is going to be a life we've only dreamed of having. So this transition period, we're going to get through it with his grace and his power and his covering over us. He is coming through for us like we have never seen him before. So that's some really good news for us. Uh, the, this week's episode is entitled The Downfall and Destruction of Darkness. And this is an important part of his rescue plan for this season that we are in. Uh, thank you to all of you who leave comments, uh, you ask questions, real good questions, leave amazing comments. Uh, I have blog posters who do amazing recaps of the action items and words for the day. And if you need some guidance in prayer, I would go to my blog. <laughs> my blog, my email are in the description box, which is under the title of the video. You just have to click it a couple of times to open it up and all that information will be there. Well, let's get started with April 16th of 2024. And this one is entitled, The Darkness Will Be Short Compared to the Days Coming Days of Light. So he said, there'll be a short time of darkness, destruction, and judgment. But these are for the evil empire and not for my people. Those who are still asleep or in deception will think that these dark times are for them. But the short time of shaking is to wake them up and to break the power of deception off their minds and hearts. Once they are awake and can see the depth of darkness in the evil empire, you will be able to share truth and light and hope with them. Ah, what a good day that will be. <laughs> Once they take hold of the hope of my light, they will be removed from the terror and the swirl of the judgment descending on the darkness. What look like desperate days to people are really days of harvest for the wicked as they are brought down and their death agendas all exposed. The short time of darkness will make a way for a time of rebirth, restoration, and days of wonderful light, as my glory and power fill the earth. Don't be moved by the precipice for the evil empire, because the darkness will be short compared to the coming days of light. April 17th, 2024, Brave changes. I have been uncovering the iron grip of the deep darkness over your world. You have allowed me to make you brave in order to bring about the downfall of these tyrants. I mean, I look back like five, seven years ago, I was not nearly as brave as I am now. He really has made us brave. The father said, you have learned to partner with me as a brave warrior who rejects evil, control, and intimidation, and you have fought valiantly until the powerful darkness is now the one on the defensive, and they are losing ground every day. Those are good things to know. Great changes are coming as all the systems founded on darkness are demolished. When this is finished, it will be time to rebuild. I need you to be just as brave about the coming changes to your reborn world. Can you be brave and let go of familiar ways of living that seemed good but had false foundations? Will you be brave enough to let me exchange what seemed good for what is best? The new era is going to be very different from the life of slavery that you have grown accustomed to. Will you be brave enough to trust me with bringing you into a whole new way of doing life? Even the way the church has operated will greatly change. Are you brave enough to go with the flow of my spirit of truth and life? Don't get stuck clinging to the old because you are afraid of change. Ask me and I will make you brave so that you can leave the battlefield of victory and walk into a brave new era by my side. 
All right. I got to live out this word uh, this week. Uh, I have to share a brave change with you in my life. It's probably more of an adjustment than um, a big change, but it's in the area of dream interpretation, which I love mysteries. I love the mysteries of dreams and unlocking them. And, um, and I've so enjoyed reading and decoding some of your dreams, along with my assistant, Ash West, who is a prophetic dreamer himself and is becoming a really um, insightful dream interpreter. Um, it, it began to become an overwhelming burden and I lost my peace. And I was like so surprised because it's an area I love so much. So I thought, okay, it's time to have a come let us reason together with the three in one. So I sat down with them one morning and the father gently asked me, did I ask you to interpret people's dreams? And I went, oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear. I presumed it was a good idea. But how many of you know there are good ideas and there are God ideas? Right now, my path is very restricted. I'm only to do God ideas. And that's my assignment for now. And I have grace to walk in that. And so I need to do it. I um, repented uh, because I did not ask. I just went ahead and presumed. Presumption will always end you up in a lot of hot water. Don't presume things about people. Don't presume things about God. Just come and ask because he's the fount of all information and wisdom. So. He just said, it's just not your focus right now to do that. I need you to concentrate on hearing my voice and doing the videos that build up the body of Christ. So uh, my assistant, Ash West, bravely said he would be willing to take on all the dream interpretations. So, oh my gosh, medal of honor to this young man. And so just be patient because he, it is just one person now tackling the dreams that you send in, but it is so life-giving to have a dream unlocked for you. And we don't just want to be your dream interpreters. We want to teach you how to interpret your dreams, open that world up for you. Uh, so, um, and okay, I said that. Okay, I'm still going to be interviewing Ash West and others with prophetic dreams. And often, uh, if John Redenbow's schedule is free, he will join us. So that's an added blessing. And I'm still planning on doing live dream interpretation live streams with John Redenbow and Ash West when he can join us. Uh, so those that's a good place for you to send in your dreams. You'll get an, an immediate interpretation. And it's uh, I'm so glad that that's still something that the Father wants me to do. Uh, and if you've got a long dream, like you're, well, I don't have a short dream. It's a long dream. Just condense it into the main points so that we can unlock the dream for you. And the Holy Spirit will go through and fill in all the details for you. And it's a good way for you to learn a uh, dream interpretation too. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on after my brave change. <laughs> um, April 18th of 2024. This is our title, the downfall and destruction of darkness. Now he gave me a subtitle for this word, interestingly enough, and it's as darkness shakes and collapses you live out of my heart. Very wise words for us. My beloveds, do not dread the downfall and destruction of the darkness because it will surely come and you will see it with your own eyes. There's no joy in seeing dark-hearted people exposed and the works of their hands destroyed. As all around them collapses, you can find your rest, peace, and joy by living in union with my heart. Your stability will come from believing my promises of vengeance on your enemies and recompense to my very own. Even as I act with vengeance to protect 
and to deliver my innocent ones, I will continue to call the dark hearts to turn back to me. As everything the darkness works for is smashed, do not pity them, but call them to righteousness. You will not be shaken in the storm that is coming for the evil empire if you remain anchored in my heart of love, promise, and blessing for you. I can bless and prosper you even as systems and governments fall. It's really important for us to hear. We are not dependent on man's systems, okay? He says, so do not fear or dread the future, but know that my bulldozer has been released to remove the darkness and all their evil platforms and structures. Call forth the vision I have given you of a new era of peace and plenty, and you will watch it unfold from the haven of peace that is found in living out of my heart. Wow. Okay, so at this point, um, I wanted a confirmation of this. I came across a confirmation of this word from a viewer who uh, wrote in. And it was a confirmation of God is indeed taking down the darkness. Uh, and it came from the smoke of Babylon is rising, that uh, particular journal entry. So this blog reader, my blog reader, alerted me to a fire in Denmark's old stock exchange. It, and it's right next to their parliament building. The building is undergoing renovation for the 400 year anniversary. It was built in 1624. Its iconic spire burned and collapsed onto the roof of the building. And this news source, just a secular news source says, reminding of the 2019 blaze at Notre Dame Cathedral. Okay, what was built into the spire of this old stock exchange were dragons, and they were supposed to protect the stock exchange from enemies and fire. Well, we see how well that worked. The enemy systems are coming down. I had many, many confirmations come in of you, you all smelling smoke when there's no fire. Smoke alarms have even gone off at random times and places, and there is no fire. You're just smelling the smoke. And that went along with the smoke of Babylon is rising. And that it would confirm to us that even behind the scenes, the Father is dismantling the darkness. Cool. Uh, also, somebody sent me a confirmation of missiles falling back on the enemy, and that comes from April 13th, the disarm, disarm, disarm word. So this blog uh, poster said later in the same day that the Holy Spirit gave this word, Iran sent its aerial attack against Israel. The part about missiles will fall back on the ones sending them actually happened as many of the weapons Iran launched failed and landed in their own territory. And they concluded with praise the Lord for his goodness. So, wow, that was a really fast confirmation of that word. April 19th, 2024, there's a beautiful word called treasures. And this one had a subtitle too. And it said, I have treasures for you to find. As you witness the massive destruction of the wicked, you will experience a season of discovery of treasures. These treasures will be in every area of your lives. I have spiritual treasures hidden since the days that Enoch, my friend, walked the earth. These treasures are now available for you to find. There will be other spiritual truths that have lain in fallow ground and it is now time to start digging where the spirit highlights to you. He will ignite in you the spark of an adventurer to discover these buried revelations. The spirit will also light this passion for the discovery of treasures in every area of society. The medical field will take great leaps as the hidden healing power I have placed in your body and in the earth are rediscovered by the searchers treasures. 
Greed for money and power have obscured my natural ways of healing and expensive artificial drugs that only touch surface issues and don't heal the underlying problems. Some of these man-made drugs actually were developed to keep you sick and needing more and more medications with terrible side effects. Step into a new era of simplicity, freedom, and true healing. There are treasures to be found in new inventions, in arts and entertainment that glorify me, and in all other areas of society that will all join hands to bring about my promised new dawn of peace and plenty. Treasure hunters, come to the Holy Spirit. He will show you where to start digging. I have treasures for you to find. All right, we have a journal nugget. April 19th of 2023, from a year ago. This one's called The Storm of Power. I want you to uh, just remind you that his story has not changed. His words have not, his promises, uh, what he's telling us is going to happen, it has remained steady. Uh, so this is called The Storm of Power. A storm of power is about to awaken the sleeping and terrify those of darkened hearts. I am going to show up in great power to rescue my people and my nation, just as I did for Israel at the Red Sea. My storm winds blew open the waters and made a way of escape where there was no way before. Your weatherman can predict the arrival of storms in the natural realm, but he cannot predict when my storm of power will strike. It will come with such force that it will blow open all the secrets of the darkness, their hidden fortresses, their secret meetings, their hidden documents, and their hidden money. They will be drowned in the, all the exposures of my dark and evil, of their dark, and let me say that again. They will be drowned in all the exposures of their dark and evil ways. So there's going to be so many there, it's going to actually flood them. Call forth this mighty storm of power, and I will unleash it on your enemies and deliver your land from this dark and sinister web. Your rescue will signal the rescue of other nations around the world, where my people are crying out for rescue and deliverance. It is coming, a storm of power. Now, we are waiting for that storm, but I want you to know that the darkness is too. They've heard these words. They know what God has planned to do. They just don't know when it's going to happen. And that is driving them crazy. I like that. <laughs> April 20th, 2024. Enjoy the day. This was beautiful. It's my desire you find something of joy every day. I created the world and everything in it to bring you joy. When you enjoy the day that I have placed before you, it brings my heart deep satisfaction and i enter into your joy how many of you know when you feel him enter into your joy it's just multiplied he said yes there are battles to be fought a war to win but remember we're fighting this war to free the world to enter into my joy and freedom it was for joy the joy set before him that jesus endured the cross the battle you are waging is for the return of joy to the world. Joy, still, joy stealers are tyranny, control, sin, rebellion, greed, and perversion. Man needs to be saved both internally and externally from the joy stealers. True freedom brings great joy, and it was for freedom that Christ set you free. If you fully embrace the sacrifice of Jesus, you will experience salvation, deliverance, and healing. These gifts will restore your joy. Outwardly, I'm restoring your joy by coming to rescue your nation from the joy stealers. My forces of light are working together with me to take back the ground the joy stealers have stolen. As you wait for the deliverance to be completed, practice entering my joy every day. This joy is a weapon against all the all that is dark and depraved. So I call you to enjoy the day. Do something every day that brings you joy because it restores you and it pleases my heart. 
So that particular day, I actually went to our farmer's market uh, and it, it's quite large. And of course, this time of year, it is full of flowers, and bushes, plants, everything blooming. And I, it's like, this is my favorite place to be. <laughs> so I did enjoy my day. It, it was beautiful. All right, on to a journal nugget from April 20th of 2023 called Unlock the Door. So that morning, the father said to me, unlock the door. And I saw a vision of a locked closet door. The father told me faith was the key to unlocking the door. I found a key in my hand and I unlocked the door. As I opened the door, all kinds of amazing things began to pour out. The closet was completely full to the top. And then the father spoke. He said, as world systems that you have depended on undergo cleansing and reordering, do not fear that you will suffer lack. If you fear lack, you will draw it to you. Do not allow fear to shape your future. I can provide for you through men's systems, but I can also provide from my storehouses in heaven. My storehouses never empty out, so you have no need to worry, fret, or fear. You have a key to open the vast riches of heaven, and that key is your faith. I'm inviting you to unlock the door to the kingdom of heaven and to receive all I've stored up for you. I will provide more than enough so that you will have plenty to share with those in need. In these days of great change and turnaround, it is vital that you stay in faith and reject fear. Stay close to my heart. Talk things over with me. Allow my spirit to lead you and look forward to the miracles of provision that are coming to your life. Unlock the door. So this may be a rocky roady season for the darkness, but it's a, a season of discovery for us and new beginnings, new things. Yeah, grab hold of that. April 21st, 2024, it's called Fire Starters. Oh, this is a good one. So that morning, as I was approaching the father on my the path to my garden, which I love going there with uh, the three in one, I saw a golden stairway going up and I realized the father wanted me to go with him uh, to the throne room. Uh, we entered the throne room and it was hushed as we proceeded to his throne. As I sat beside him, I saw hosts as far as the eye could see. And they were all holding a fire in their hands. I heard the words, fire starters. After I received the fire into my heart, the father asked me to join him in releasing the fire starters to the world. He's so good to let us do stuff with him. In unison, we declared, fire starters, go. Oh my goodness, you've got a fire coming. He said, I'm releasing my fire starters all over the world to those who bear my name. This fire that I am sending out will purify hearts of false motives, idols, and compromise. This holy fire will burn up where the lines have been blurred between the holy and the profane. This is not a matter of adopting outward righteous behavior. Haven't you seen enough examples of this lately in the church where lives of discipline and religious behavior. Oh, everybody looked up to these people. It was just a cover-up for inward corruption and the defiling of many. My fire starters will ignite true holiness and the fear of the Lord, and it will bring radical reformation to my church. My holiness within is a light in the darkness. It makes you a safe lighthouse for the broken and those captive to degrading sins. You become a place to anchor their lives as I cleanse and purify their hearts. And they enter the true freedom of my holiness. Will you welcome the fire starters to ignite your heart? If you say yes and allow the fire to do its cleansing and empowering work, then you become a fire starter, and you will ignite those in your sphere of influence. Spontaneous combustion will take place as you touch people's lives. Goodbye, lukewarm, compromised church. 
Hello, Firestarter, passionate Christ followers. Yeah, let's just take a minute. Um, in case you haven't done this yet, let's just do this. Uh, Father, we welcome being a fire starter, and we welcome you putting your fire into our hearts. So we welcome whatever host has been assigned to us to deliver that fire into our hearts. We say yes to it, do its good work of purifying and then empowering me to live in the freedom of holiness. Thank you. Amen. All right. Well, I had a dream that night um, that actually confirmed this word. Uh, it was a dream about, I was keeping track of prophecy being fulfilled and I saw an older couple in my dream that had mentored me when I first became a believer. And I heard, look into the prophecies of the 1970s. So, you know, I had no idea what that was. So I thought, well, I'll just search and see what comes up. Well, I found this obscure short prophetic encounter that a woman named Jean Darnell from Wales, England had in 1967. So this word was for Great Britain, but I believe it's a pattern that we see now playing out all around the world at this time in history. What she saw were fires breaking out all over. It was the Lord igniting the people of his church again. Then she saw lightnings and explosions of fire hitting the nation that were, would result in an awakening of every area of society. This move of God would produce powerfully gifted communicators that would use media to share their messages. Okay, this was three decades before the internet came into being. So, wow, what a far-reaching word. Okay, so that was like, that was 50-some uh, years ago, or close to that. <laughs> um, anyway, it was a long time ago, 40-some, and it was it's very accurate. So sometimes you have to know that prophetic words grow, and they continue to plant seeds into the soil until they come to pass. So we also had a confirming poem sent by Margaret Westfall. I'm just going to read uh, excerpts from this poem. It is absolutely stunning and beautiful. Um, she hardly knew what she was writing. She was so under the influence of the Holy Spirit, but it is um, gorgeous. And she does have a book of poetry, Margaret Westfall, if you want to look that up. So this one's called Fire and Glory. And she says, dance, worship, wonder, collapse into, crumble under his infinite goodness. Dance, dance, whisper, roar, fly, soar, rest, refresh, be filled, restored, higher, inquire, be intrigued, inspired, light shines brighter, revealing more, be experientially transformed, Cap capacity increases, desire deepens, newness sweeps in, displacing the gray of the heavy and dreary with the shining radiant energy of a new wave of blinding glory. It's too bright to see with human eyes. Carry me above the fire, above the fray. The fight is with darkness, but darkness flees without resistance, without display. The fire that destroys evil also came to save. He didn't come to condemn, but to deliver. He came for a bride, not a rebel or a slave. His strong tower is not just a place to hide, because he's not just our protector. He's the ruler giving us his scepter, the warrior giving us his sword, the conqueror sharing his reward, the bridegroom giving us his heart. The fire that divides the judged from the saved also divides the timid from the brave, the weak from the powerful, the vessels of honor who know who they are from the confused and controlled who are still fragile clay 
not yet strengthened in love's refining furnace, made unbreakable and glory glazed, prepare to rule with the king. This is the faith he's expecting to find on the earth. Faith that doesn't just say, get me out of harm's way, but Lord, I will let you fight through me to rescue those who don't yet see that you are light and life and conquering love, impenetrably holy, the all-powerful one who was and is and is to come. Whisper, roar, dance, dance, refreshed, restored, fly, soar, worship, adore, crumble under, collapse in two, his unlimited goodness, his infinite wonder. He's too vast to describe, but we can experience a little of him. All of his presence, we can presently stand, worship in stillness, take his hand, let him draw us into the song of all songs, his beautiful dance. Beautiful word picture, isn't that? God anoints uh, all the areas of our lives, and they can give him glory. We have a journal nugget from April 21st of 2023. It's called The Answer is Blowing in the Wind. So that's this folk song from the 60s by Bob Dylan. I had to look up who wrote it and all. Um, began going through my head last night because it's not like a song I ever learned, or, but it just was going through my mind. So I looked up the lyrics. I found it was a cry to mankind to stop war and to bring freedom to all men. The song was sung at the event where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous speech, I Have a Dream. I thought that was very powerful. The father shared with me, this song is about to come full circle in your day. As deep darkness and death agendas are exposed, people will be crying out for answers. I am telling you that the answer to all death schemes and agendas to steal identities, wealth, and health are going to be found blowing in the wind. The wind is the wind of my spirit, blowing away injustice and corruption and blowing in cleansing freedom, and great change. My remnant, my army of light are awakened to the deep darkness and they know that I'm the only one who can rescue and bring lasting change. You have been given eyes to see my kingdom and you have been prepared to help bring my kingdom in all its glory and power to all areas of society. My spirit wind will blow through you with kingdom power to transform the world around you. Every act of love, obedience, encouragement, giving, releasing, healing will result in my kingdom expanding. This is not church activity. It is the way you live your life. The world is looking for answers and you have the answers and the power to bring change as you yield to my spirit winds. The answer is blowing in the wind. Wow. I had a confirming poem sent to me of this called I Am. And this was um, written by Janice F. Roach. And it, it is published. Her daughter sent this in. She's looking down from heaven. And I hope she's hearing us uh, share her poem. It's very beautiful. It says, I am as soft as a lover's sigh. I stir the soul as I pass by. I'm softly scented by the land and seas. I tickle the leaves atop the trees. I sweep over the hills and grazing herd. I lift the music and spoken word. I kiss the children and give the eagle flight. I cool the land on a warm summer's night. I billow the sails of the ship at sea. I force the proud to bended knee. I move and shape the clouds overhead. I whisper my secrets to the dead. I am a breeze. Gentle as love, or a wisp, a fragile dove, or a gale, stern as an iron rod, I am the wind, the breath of God. Wow, what gives me God bumps. <laughs> Very powerful. Let your gifts start shining. He is shining on your gifts, anointing them. Don't be afraid to step out and begin to 
uh, use them for his glory. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we will be ending uh, the video with signs and wonders photos that you have sent in to me. So April 22nd, 2024, bribery and corruption will be exposed. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said, your justice, justice system has been weaponized against those who would restore your republic to its rightful roots and foundations. The bribery and corruption going on behind the scenes is quite staggering. And those still asleep can't imagine that it exists. I'm assuring you that nothing these perverted courts decide will stand. I am telling you that massive bribery and corruption will be exposed. I will lay it bare, or it will be laid bare before the world by leaked audio tapes, hidden files and memos, and secret video recordings. The arrogant controllers will find themselves humiliated as they are stripped of power and find themselves before real courts of justice. I have receipts. I have the receipts for their bribery, extortion, and greed. My hosts are guarding these receipts, and at just the right moment, they're going to appear on the desk of those who are investigating the corrupt. The landslide of fraud and corrupt corruption will be impossible for the lying media to bury, and the truth will shake the nations awake. The corrupt will not win in the end because bribery and corruption will be exposed. Amen. We're going to end with a journal nugget from August 16th of 2023. It's called Judgment, Justice, Vindication, and Victory. This is a powerful word. These four words will be written as banners across this time in history. This age will be known as the great war against the darkest of enemies and the greatest display of my light and power that overcame and crushed the darkness. My army of light who believed my promises of rescue will be vindicated and rewarded for all the world to see. Justice and freedom will be restored to the land and they will usher in a season of peace and plenty. Every sacrifice, every battle, every struggle, every loss you have had as a result of this war has been recorded and it will be restored and honored. Every day that you hang on to my promises and choose to continue the fight are noted in the record of the great war and you can build up more recompense and, remo and reward more than you can imagine. My promises of victory and vindication are sure and true. You will never regret that you fought by my side in the great war. Blessed is my army of light. I wanted, before we do our action items, which will be up on my blog uh, so that you can copy them, use them as prayer guides, um, Kathy G sent you and many, many, Kathy G and many, many others sent me uh, testimonies of hearing their warrior uh, hosts names, the two that were assigned to each of us. Oh my goodness, they are all so powerful and wonderful, but uh, I'll share Kathy G's this week so that we're not here all afternoon. Uh, her testimony of her warrior host names, Samuel, was her first one that she heard. That was meant a lot to her because when she was seven, she heard God audibly call her by name which is what happened to Samuel. Wow. And the other was Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. And she said she cries very easily. <laughs> and she has words from the Lord that are shut up in her bones. She asked for confirmation of these names. And suddenly a fierce warrior host appeared to her and introduced himself. I am Jeremiah at your service. Oh, that's, that's a confirmation. <laughs> All right, here's our action items. Don't be moved by the precipice for the evil empire because the darkness will be short compared to the coming days of light. Once people are shaken awake, we will, at last, be able to share truth, light, and hope with them. Just as we have been brave and 
fought by the Lord's side, we will need to be brave about the coming changes to our way of life. Don't get stuck in the old because you're afraid of change. Ask and he will make you brave so that you will leave the battlefield of victory and bravely walk into the new era. As everything the darkness worked for is smashed, do not pity them, but call them to righteousness. Do not dread or fear the future, but know that his bulldozer has been released to remove the darkness. Call forth the vision he has given us of a new era of peace and plenty. We're to live out of his heart. As treasure hunters, we are to come to him and he'll show us where to start digging. He has treasures for us to find. We're in a battle against the joy stealers. Tyranny, control, sin, rebellion, greed, and perversion. Our weapon against these joy stealers is to practice entering his joy every day. Find something of joy, something that delights you every day. Do not fear lack because he's given us a key of faith to open the storehouses of heaven. Will you welcome heaven's fire starters to ignite your heart? We will then become fire starters, passionate Christ followers. The power to bring change comes from yielding to the spirit winds of change. Yes, beautiful, powerful, powerful words this week. Oh, and my apologies for last week. Uh, the video ended abruptly but without me getting to pray. It just, I felt very unfinished. I only missed two pictures and I've included them uh, today in the sharing. Uh, so sorry about that. Zoom decided it was going to choose that very moment to um, update my Zoom account. So um, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Oh, so uh, this first one is from Heidi K. And it was after the eclipse, she took this picture and there appeared a rainbow around the sun. And look, here's the profile of Jesus. So he was there looking out, watching over, doing amazing things. Uh, this was Tina C. Her sister took this during the eclipse. Um, and it, it was Jesus's watchful eye. There's the eyebrow. Look here. You can even see the lashes. There's the iris and the pupil and the, the white of the eye here. That's a pretty spectacular eye. Uh, just continuing to let us know he's in everything. Uh, Julie N. sent this. Uh, it was the eclipse. And this was taken through the Hubble telescope. Um, that's quite beautiful. Wow. All right, let's go back and see where we are here. This is policy, sent this one in, and it is a huge, huge host landing. I always love to see them land. And there's probably more than one host because there's wings here, wings here, wings here, a wing here, and there's some more here. So this was a bunch of them coming in. Uh, Paula sent us this one as well. And out of the fire sunset, there is a whirlwind arising. So that's pretty exciting uh, to see that whirlwind cloud of God. Wow. Uh, Lauren M. sent us this one, and it is an amazing feather host. There was just such detail uh, in that feather. And then there's also um, an arrow host in here. You can see this arrow right here. Here's another one going off here. Um, and then there's just glory coming off of, of the sky and off of the host. Uh, this was taken uh, over North Carolina. And uh, Lauren sent us this one as well. And it's a pink host. I had to include it. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Uh, this was from Lauren too, uh, showing us uh, a host, a fire sun, multiple wings and a feather. Uh, so she seems to be see a lot of feathers and uh, uh, hosts that way. Here's an arrow right here. See, this is the whole arrow coming off there. This one's on assignment, aiming for a certain area. So pretty cool. 
uh, Bev O sent us this uh, rainbow angel. So there isn't a there's a rainbow here, a real one, but there's a there's a a lighted up host right here that uh, is um, also a rainbow. Pretty cool. And you'll see these light blue portals that are opening into the storm. Let me see if I can make our angel a little bigger. Yeah, you really, you know, it just gets fuzzy as you enlarge things to be shown. But um, there, were, there, I saw the original. There was rainbow on that host. Betty M. sent us this amazing picture from Arizona. It's a pink sunset uh, with glory fire. Um, that, that is incredible. And there's, there's purples and golds and reds and pinks and bright, bright blues and fire down here. Just the light and glory. Uh, just a beautiful display of God's glory. Uh, Laura Lee sent us this one. And we have another uh, bad guy that's been exposed. And, you know, these aren't as fun as seeing the good guys, but it, it's to let us know. See this horn? And the big eye here in the nose. And then the mouth is like going, oh, no, they can see me. I'm exposed. And I'm going down. Amen. Julie H. Uh, shared this beautiful sunbow. And there are um, like a number of faces that I found. Like here's hair, the bangs, the nose, the mouth. A uh, soft face here. There's a big long nose. Uh, I don't know if these are the great cloud of witnesses or or posts or what they are, but they are looking on that uh, that glory sun there. Uh, Jackie M uh, sent this for us, and it is. Um, a good picture of dark to light. This is the season we are in. Darkness overpowered, the light overpowering the darkness. Hallelujah. Uh, this one is sent by Lisa B. And it is, uh, she entitled this God's Glorious Promise. And that is indeed a beautiful title for this. There's glory coming out of this uh, portal cloud and a rainbow. Um, it's just uh, so much a promise to us. Now, there is a cross in the rainbow, but I can't see it now with this. Um, here we go. There it is. See? So beautiful. Signs and wonders, I tell you. Uh, Lisa sent us this one too, and it was this enormous sun dog, and then it made a cross, which is so beautiful. I love this. This is so powerful. Laura Lee sent us this one. It's from Florida, and there is an, uh, an arrow host right here, and th then there's this uh, like rainbow laser coming out, which is uh, really, really cool. Um, Awesome stuff. And this one was by Patricia J. And it is a huge arrow. Look at that thing. That arrow is huge. That's going for a big guy. It's big guns out. Uh, Patricia sent us this one as well. And it is a, a host, an arrow host. And he is coming to earth. And then you'll see all kinds of other host wings here. Um, backing this up. So that's a um, very, very cool picture. Our next one is by Betty M. And it is um, beautiful fire clouds and a glory portal uh, taken over Arizona. See, here's the glory portal. You can absolutely, absolutely see the glory just pouring out of this. And this is such an unusual uh, formation in the clouds. I'm not really sure, you know, what that signifies, but if you have any ideas, um, leave them in the comments for us. Uh, this one is uh, Kathy K, and it's a sun portal breaking through all this darkness. And then you'll see that there's this really dark face here. Um, and then there's these other faces here. And it's like, Look, the glory is coming to wipe them out. 
very awesome. Gwen O oh, sent us this beautiful sunset glory portal. Just so pretty, you know, darkness and you'll see the light, the glory is just peeking through, coming through. Uh, it's spreading. Um, Michelle M sent us this. It is a glory fire sunset and it it has a, it, it's set. I mean, there's a church that's set in front of this glory fire. And that is what we want. We want his glory to come and consume our churches. Uh, Michelle sent us this one as well. It is the moon and it is a beautiful cross that came out in the photo. And this was taken in California. Julie G sent this one. And look at there, there's a trumpeting elephant. Do you see his eye? There's this big, long trumpet, uh, trunk trumpeting, and his ear here. And, and it's like, this is like, I've been sent five or six photos of elephants lately. I've never seen another elephant cloud in the sky in my whole life. And now there's all of these confirming elephants come in. And I think it's the elephant in the room can't hide anymore. Everything is going to be exposed. Uh, this is Patrice C. Her husband was the photographer, and he took this picture of a four-layer rainbow, and this was taken in the state of Washington. So there's one, two, three, and then four is out here a little bit lighter. That is an incredible, incredible picture. Uh, Cindy L. sent us this one. It's a beautiful layered sunrise. It's like from fire to royalty. I just, I mean, the colors in that, it's like somebody drew it. <laughs> it's just absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Karen H. sent us this beautiful picture of a rainbow host taken over New Jersey. I mean, that is just amazing. Of what a wonder, what a sign. Uh, Maria sent us this one, and it is the host has the sun as its face, which is really cool. Uh, and then up here, she saw another face as well. So pretty cool. It's kind of a, a wispy one, so I think it's uh, one of those that can duck in and out of small places and do lots of damage to things that are hanging around that shouldn't be. Uh, Jerry T sent us this. It's the moon with a cross, and that was taken in Indiana. Um, that it was just a beautiful, beautiful picture. Well, that same night, uh, Jerry's sister, Jan, Jan T., uh, she lives 12 miles away. She's actually in Michigan. And she took a moon with a cross photo at the very same time that her sister was taking one. So isn't that amazing? Wow. So cool. I love that. And this one is... Um, did I miss one? No, I don't think I did. Let's see... Barbara C. This is a host with, uh, you can clearly see head, wings, and a feather body. So I'm missing a couple pictures. So I've, if I have missed those, I'll go back and pick them up. All right, there's the head, wings, and the feather body. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just looking back. No, I don't think I took any out of the line. So, or missed any in the line here. Uh, Laura Lee uh, sent us this one. It's a big uh, fish, and it it is a glowing portal. So I thought that was really interesting. We have a fish-shaped portal. So God does amazing things. Uh, Lisa D sent us this amazing hole punch cloud, and it is like an eye portal. And it's sending out all these frequencies uh, into the sky. Uh, this was taken over West Virginia. So, wow, is that an incredible picture. 
Kelly B sent us this one and it's orbs that showed up in the picture and uh, a huge feather wing right here. But you see these orbs, orbs of light like this are often hosts. Uh, that's just how they appear to us. And then Kelly uh, sent us this picture as well. And even in the night sky, she found a heart. So sweet. Uh, this was Kelly's as well. And it is a, a moon bow. Uh, it's just the darkness is so dark. And yet the moon has this beautiful glow around it. Uh, BJ sent us this one and it's the face of Jesus. Here's this crown of thorns right here. Nose. And here's his mouth. There's the beard. Um, just very special to look up and see our Savior. Laura Lee sent us this one. Uh, and again, it's an exposure of a horned face, but there's a host creature and light coming in. Do you see the light coming in? That is pretty cool. Going after the horned guy. You are done. Uh, Rev Reverend Den sent us this one. Her friend Monique took this photo in Switzerland. It was a cross displayed against the rainbow clouds. Um, so here's the cross right here and right here. Um, really, really beautiful. And there's actual cross on the hill there too. But there's also a repeated one in the sky and just this glory. So what a powerful picture. Lindy sent us this amazing photo. It is a pink glory cloud and it's holding the moon. So you can see, here's this glory cloud. It does look like it's holding the moon. And what the father whispered to her was, um, God's got this. <laughs> and this was taken over Colorado. All right, on to Christy O. And she shared this ram with a crown and there's a glowing feather. Do you see this glowing feather that just appeared in the sky? Here's the ram right here, his head and his horns looking down. Um, and you can see there's frequencies coming out from that. All right. Uh, this one is Jeannie J, and it is a dove coming to the earth. Uh, very, very beautiful. Uh, just to, to see, you know, God's in action here. Uh, Christine O shared this cross in the moon portal, and there's, there's this cool moon bow and this beautiful luminous uh, bow around it, and then right over the moon, there's this cross. Wow. Signs and wonders. DR shared this. It's a huge host face against the darkness. It is a picture of dark to light, a bad guy trying to intimidate Florida, but it's not going to work. See, he has the big eyes and his mouth and um, the darkness here. But this host, huge, huge, fierce looking host. This little dude, yeah, no match for that. Darkness loses again. Kathy D sent this uh, cross. Very cool. And then there's an angel wing here, or a host. <clears throat> Bonnie R shared this uh, fire and glory sunrise, a portal open over Arizona. That is just a stunning picture. That's from the I Love Arizona site on Facebook. Um, beautiful, beautiful colors and fire. Again, it's that fire being released into um, ruling and reigning. I think the fire is supposed to ignite us to rule and reign. And we will do that. Uh, this Bonnie sent this one as well from Country Corners um, page. And it is a beautiful cross that appeared in the trees as they uh, took this winter photo. Wow. So amazing. This one from Bonnie as well. This was taken over Lake Tahoe and from Art of the Sun um, page. And this rainbow went down into the water. So that makes it very powerful, um, very beautiful. 
God's over California, restoring, rescuing. Uh, NASA took this with uh, with uh, the Webb Space Telescope, um, and it is rainbow clouds over Iceland. Is that cool or what? Those are absolutely beautiful. And they insisted that it had not been photoshopped. So there you go. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, thanks for hanging out with me. And I will check on those um, pictures that I missed. There were, there were two there, so I'll pick those up next week. I don't want to miss those because all that you send in are precious. And I, I feel your wonder and your joy in knowing that God is speaking to you, even in the clouds, in the heavens. Um, it's an amazing season that we live in. So let's pray together. Father, thank you for this time we got to spend together with you, with the hosts that surround me, with the Holy Spirit coming and joining us, uh, with just the power of your love overshadowing us and the blood of Jesus so protecting us and keeping us. We thank you that you are a great, great God, and we ask that you continue to draw us deeper into your heart, deeper into where you want to show us wonders, signs, in the heavens, on the earth, in the, in the realms of the spirit, where we have to learn to see with our spirit eyes. But you are a patient and a good teacher. We ask that you continue to help us learn to work with the hosts who have been assigned to us for this time. And I, I just thank you for your patience, your goodness, uh, the great joy that you want us to walk in. We receive that. We call forth all that you want to do and accomplish in this season in the earth. We say kingdom come, glory invade, kingdom of God reign now over the darkness. And we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Oh, that felt good to get to pray with you at the end. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Uh, and until we meet again, may you be blessed with his peace, his grace, his great glory. Hallelujah. <laughs>